And welcome back to Old Man Dax. Um, it's been a few weeks since uh, we put out a video. We've been busy. Uh, did a few projects. We'll bring you up to date probably in the next. Oh, I guess I should sleep. I haven't slept in a, in a few days. Um, like I said, I've been busy. Uh, we're going to actually reorganize our shop. We're getting... Uh, a few more members online so we're going to uh, kind of focus in on what we're selling we were going to go with like kind of a, a convenience store how many of them are up there I'm just the one um, where I was going to dabble in like pretty much everything a little bit of food a little bit of uh, stuff but we're going to we're going to reorganize and we're going to focus we're going to go with uh, pretty much what we can get from a gold farm and the barter trader because we're going to take the gold and we're going to trade it to the barter and so we'll take the stuff from there and the masons because uh, if you've seen from my last video which last video or the video before anyway you've all seen my mason shop down here so we got the stone generator and all these masons we're actually going to uh, revamp this area too we're gonna bring these guys back up and I think we're gonna make them their own little building so they're not stuck down here in the dungeon and uh, we may have to recruit some more masons because we really want to have a good supply for uh, everybody on the server so when they come like mostly everybody I think pretty much has their starter base up and going so they're gonna start getting into bigger builds and we'd like you know for them to come to the shop and you know grab what they need to go build so to do that in today's video as you can see from the title we're gonna upgrade the gold farm so right now and we should have enough supplies already built up I hope I don't want to have to pause and go get more stuff so as you can see from down here we now it's now a triple now the thing that I want to upgrade in this video so here's the trident killer and everything goes down into I'm not sure if I showed everyone this in my last video or not so everything comes in gets pumped into these chests this was the beginning of it I had a chest monster going but now it comes down oh and the uh, Admin put a mod in to show us the direction of our uh, hoppers, which is kind of nice. So we have the simple uh, bedrock item sorting system now. So everything gets sorted all into the chest. I just emptied it because I went to uh, the gold. Oh, I suppose we can shut that off. Turn that back on before we use it. So the issues I'm having with the gold farm is everything gets sorted right nice and if you are going to build a gold farm my suggestion is build it right beside your iron farm that way there while you're afk right here you produce iron right there so again on this realm we do not have fire spread on so we have to use the flint and steel so as of right now i have to go up here here and I have to flick all of these to start the water then I have to flick all of these to start the uh, flint and steel so it flicks on and on and on then we go over here and we jump down and we start the trident killer which is great until we run out of flint and steel then we have to come all the way back up here all the way up here And depending on how much stuff I have in my inventory, which right now it's pretty full, and now imagine if I had four stacks of iron and four stacks of flint and steel, I have like five inventory spaces. So I gotta fill up these and fill up these and fill up these. And it takes forever. So the plan is we are going to, let's jump down here.
we are going to hook up. So here's the switch to turn on the Trident Killer. So I'm thinking another block right here. And we'll put a switch here and a switch here. So the first switch will go up and it will turn on the water. The second switch will go up and turn on the flint and steel dispensers. Then... I guess we can AFK like right here. We don't even really have to AFK while we do this. Um, so what I want to do is I want to put a hopper right here so that when I make flint and steels, I'll just show you. I'll run down and get some stuff real quick. There we go. So the plan is when we're standing right here is to make flint and steels and have them thrown like that. Oh, my inventory's full. That's the whole process. You want to fill your inventory so that the next one you throw, let's just put that there. So now, when you hit, I'm on PlayStation, don't forget, so when we hit triangle, we, we create, and then you just keep going like that. Boom, boom. So boom, 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 boom. It's not super easy, but you gotta keep floating up here, which is kind of annoying. I wonder if, let's try that. Uh, where's my wood one? Right there. table right here and now when we do it yeah it doesn't move see now we're just no it still comes down so we're gonna have to slide our controller over every time we want to make one which is still faster than going up okay now I need to uh, get a shocker for all these flint steels if I have any empties So that is the plan. We're going to hook up a line to go up. And then we are going to hook up a uh, hopper system to get the flint and steel up to the chest. That way there, everything should be able to be done from down here. climb up there every time we want to run this farm. Oh no. I blocked my way up. Okay. So one, let's get some blocks. Um, 
This is made out of cobblestone, so let's just continue using cobblestone. And we need our redstone box. Torches. Okay, so let's get rid of that for now. So, plan number one was to get the water to dispense. So, we might need some more blocks. Okay, so this is going to be water right here. So let's just go up here. Probably going to have to get a repeater. A little bit further. One more. That oh, looks about right. Uh, let's just go one more just for pause. Almost there. And if you had noticed, I know it's kind of a spoiler, but since the last video, I've been to the end. Um, actually, twice. Oh, what's this one, too? Um, okay, let's get a few more while we're here. I was out adventuring the other day and uh, accidentally, uh, or actually I was working on my nether hub, which will be in the next video. I'm going to do another base tour and we'll actually head out in the world now that i got wings and we'll go visit um, probably a couple of, uh, couple of co-players. And yeah, so I was building the nether hub and uh, I swam in lava a little longer than I should have. So I lost my first set of wings and had to go back and do another uh, end raid. Which is fine. This time I come back with a few few pairs. I went prepared. I had uh, brought an anvil and I brought the enchantment books that I needed. So I was able to fly around for a little bit. Alright, shut that off. That should be more than enough. Okay, oh, it's on the side here. And yes, this here will be moving too. We're going to tear this uh, tear this down and move it over beside the gold farm. But that will be in gold farm 3.0. The uh, like I said I'm going to be making them a building. And it's probably... Why are we so low? Um, missed it. Darn it. Um, the new building for the Masons is probably going to be over here. We'll, we'll expand with this area so that uh, the cobblestone generator is probably going to be right here. And we'll probably put the masons 
probably back there in the woods and build them a little, uh, little house. All right, we might as well pillar it beside this one because I gotta put the torches in anyway, and we'll just tear this down as we come down. Okay, so that brings our signal up, and this we don't need no more. All right, so actually, let's take this down, and we'll do it as we come up, because we got to run the signal up. This one here, we don't want the signals touching, so we'll have to move that over to there. Which is better, because now I'll be able to put the hopper thing right here. Oh, it's coming together. Okay, so, lever number one, let's put the levers out here, actually. There we go, so we'll leave it there and leave it there. Uh, where's the leaders? From there, from there, some redstone. Might have to go get some more redstone. Might as well grab some repeaters over here. Okay, redstone. Let's turn it on so we get our length. And the signal's not quite strong enough. Ends right there. So let's just go back here a little bit. Uh, we're good about there. Should be fine. There we go. We extend the strength. Maybe we're going to come up. turns out when we hit it. Torch don't turn out. Oops. Okay, so it's going to be the block. Let's do this. So now we just get rid of that for now. Because we need to pull it up all. Oh, let's put that block. Okay, so out we go. And now we're just going to go up. That one stays. I should uh, 
invest some time into some scaffolding. <laughs> So the top plate is on. Top plate is still on. Okay, so easy fix. see to that one there. Let me do that. So the lights should be on up top now. And there. Okay, so we got the signal to here. So I'm thinking we should be fine for power all the way there. And if we put a repeater right here, that'll extend the signal up this way. And we should be good all the way to there, hopefully. Okay, so when we hit this, it should extend the piston. And extend the piston. And extend the piston. All right. That's the first one. So now we should be able to just replicate that again up there. Hmm. I was thinking about having them on the same switch, but. In my last run that I was on, when I had them on the same switch, sometimes the portals would stay on. And when I come through my nether, I would pop out in the gold farm. So that's why I want to do the water first and then that. I could put them on the on a second tick. But I'd have to move that in front. So this gets the first tick and then that gets the second tick. That's just as easy to make another line. Let's just make another line. There we go. And we can shut that off for now. Oops. And we should already have the pattern. We just got to extend it a little bit higher. How much higher? One more level, I think. Nope. 
that one little. Should be right about there. Oops. Oh, gotta take these off. And the thing with putting in uh, multiple, it makes it look a little more industrial. And I kind of like the look of it. Eventually, we will uh, probably change with the blocks and stuff. And oh, this one's one level down compared to the rest. Okay. I don't think we're going to have enough. Let's go redstone farming. <laughs> three this time.
Nice. A little faster. down. Stone dust. Now, that should start water. This should start Pillars. Oops. And there we go. Let's not meet their fate. Perfect. All right, now let's head down again. Oh, watch where we jump now. This one here starts the trident killer. Loot the three effect because we got our trident in there. A little loud, sorry about that. And then we want to shut off the portals. And then shut off the water. We'll wait for these guys to clear up and then. Uh, up top just to make sure that the portals are off This one's one lower, which actually that might prove to be beneficial. We'll see after. Then after we can get rid of this wood, we can get rid of this scaffolding. Okay, so we're probably going to come up right here and then in and then into there, into there, and into there. How's that going to work? No, we'll have to go into there, then into there, and then into here. We'll see. Okay, so if we are standing here, making them, throw them into there, so we need to uh, probably just a couple of hoppers. Uh, we got one there, so we need to make some. 
of that iron go? Take that, get rid of that. Where's that crafting table? Okay, so we put the crafting table there. When we make them and throw them, they should go in there. So we're going to do a hopper line out that way, up to, uh, actually we'll bring it up and over, I think, to here. I'm sure there's going to be enough room there or not. We're going to try the, uh, there's a bunch of ways to move items up. I want to try the, uh, the glass one never done it before so oh pre XP oh yeah we were making uh, some hoppers and some chests um, let's make more actually So it goes in here, and it's going to go down that way. I think we might have to start with the item thing up, and then attach the hoppers to it. Would be the uh, ideal. Okay, so we need... Three. Do I have three? I don't think I do. Let's go up and check. I don't think we have three in between here. No, we only have two. We need three. So we might have to go just on the outside right here, which is fine. As you can see, iron golems still spawning, making us some iron. So, if we're going to go out here, and we have to go even higher, we have to go way up there. Should we do it on the back or the front? I think in the front. Let's do it like right there. Let's get rid of this guy first so he doesn't disturb us. Okay, let's just make a little platform. And here it's just gotta be three. And we may want to move that. the chest is going to be up here. Unless we build a little box and put it down in the water to start. is going to come in, it's going to go down two, so we got to go down at least three. What's bugging me now? Go away. Busy building. Thank you. 
And even with respiration three, you still can't breathe forever. Now let's just pop that there so I can pop it in here. Okay, so now let's take these back. Now the chest should be. Okay. Well, that wasn't very smart, now was it? Alright, let's get... Uh, what do I need? I need a couple of chests. Get some more wood. I need two observers. I believe a dropper. Redstone and I need a hopper. Okay, so uh, I need to make more chests and we're in space again. Let's do this right in the middle. Uh, need an observer facing towards. Oh, that's not an observer. That's cobblestone. Okay, as I figured, it's the other way. Uh, one. Here. Let's see if we can squeak in here and do this. There we go. Redstone in front of him into a solid block. Um, how are we going to do this? We're going to go big. one down for a second. This one here has to be facing up. There we go. And we'll put that one back in. I think. There we go. Okay. And then we can get rid of that one. Right there, and we need the hopper going into there, and then the double chest. On top of that. So now uh, we got three of these, so if we put three of them in there, that should pop them out. Oh, put them into the dropper. Why did the dropper not shoot them out?
because my things come into the chest. Oh, no. I wonder if it's because it's surrounded by block. Let's uh, take the back off. And do one more. Okay. Items come in, so it's going to be flints. Voila. Oh yeah. Let's try end of pearls. <laughs> yeah, everything's just coming right back in my inventory. So there. That's that. Now we need to go get some glass. So, I should be able to crunch on there. And that's going to stop me from getting out. Let's try this again and see if they pop up. And it works. They come right up. So now we just got to take this glass all the way up to that level. I may need some more glass. I think for now we can uh, let's go one more. Oh no, look out, squid. Okay, so the plan is get the items up to here, and then we're gonna water stream them into a hopper, into a chest. Out of a hopper, so let's go up one more. 
more out of a hopper into hmm. if anybody has any uh, suggestions on how to do this uh, more efficiently you know definitely leave comments down below while you're there you know make sure you like and subscribe if you like what you're seeing and uh, make sure you click the notification so that you're notified whenever I make any new videos. But the dilemma I'm coming into is I want the hopper to fill up that section. And then when that one gets too full, it'll go this way down into there and then down into there. And I think we're going to go one more higher just to be on the safe side. I can always rearrange this stuff, but so we're going to have that one down, down, down. All right, let's get the uh, let's get the glass in here first, because one row is almost a full stack of glass, so I'm definitely going to need some more glass. So that was that row. Now let's do the middle row. They have an, another mod on this one, uh, clear glass, which makes building with glass really hard. So I may have to tint if I do a more complicated build. Okay, so that one went down one, so we'll add one more there. Okay, that's the second one. Now we'll do the third one. And then we'll do the sides. Okay, number three. Hopefully we got enough to get to the top, because I'm going to have to stock up on some more glass. some more glass. Oh, we only got 31 left. Um, now we can just sell some iron while we're right here. Don't have to go far. Should have lots. Actually, I got a lot of that uh, rotten flesh. Let's uh, celebrate going to sleep. <laughs> Coming up on the uh, on the hour mark, so uh, 
I think I've explained it pretty well how it's going to work. So uh, in my next video, we're going to be doing a tour of the base. So we'll give you the final uh, outcome of this uh, when I get it done. Oh, yeah, I had to go buy some glass inside here. So as we uh, gather up a few more supplies, we're going to call it at the end of the video. I apologize for not being uh, a little more ready for this and being able to finish it. But like I said, I'll be putting out another video um, hopefully tomorrow with a tour and a uh, couple of visits. Like I said, I've been busy for the last couple of weeks. I've been working on the Mega Base. I uh, did a few uh, end raids. Uh, we worked on the Nether Hub. Oh, we're out of animals. Okay. And uh, yeah, I had a birthday this week, so that kept me a little bit busy. Got a new uh, family member. Uh, we adopted a, a, a young kitty cat, so that's been keeping me busy. And uh, but we're getting back into her. And I said tomorrow should have a, an update video of all these builds that I've been doing. Uh, thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, and uh, we'll see you later. Did you really think I'd leave you without the farm finished? All right, here we go. So the water tunnel came up to here. We put it into hoppers. So the hoppers go down into the chest and then down into this one. Then once that's full and it backs up, then it's going to come down here. Do the same thing and the same thing so all three stacks will get full and then down here kind of changed my mind a little bit about the entry system i was going to craft them and then just bip, 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 bip. but instead i made this little station right here so you can fill up your shocker box full uh, of uh, flint and steels put your shocker box on there and you can watch it empty and then it goes up the elevator so I don't no longer have to go up there to fill up the flint and steels and then once it's emptied we just flick this button to shut this hopper off just in case we don't catch it but I caught it so you just flick that back on click that off and do another one and you can just do it over and over and over until it's full and again water and fire and Riding Killer. Hope you enjoyed the video, and we'll see you in the next one.